Drilling holes in plexiglass type materials used to pose problems for me due to cracking. A few years ago, I was helping a friend to install a hand forged iron stairway railing in a church. The elders wanted a plexiglass shield installed on the open side of the railing because kids were jumping over the railing and possibly hurting themselves. Anyway, my friend Bob had drawn up the shapes for the plexiglass and had marked where the holes were needed and we went to a vendor company to buy the material. I had had some bad experiences in the past when drilling holes in that brittle plexiglass type material, so I asked the shop owner how they did it. And this method has worked flawlessly for me ever since, and that's what I'm going to show you now. The secret is that we will melt our way through the hole by heating the shank end of the drill bit and pushing it through the material, melting it and forcing the plastic to kind of ooze up around the drill as we go. First let me give you a few hints and then we'll go ahead and make a few holes. Simply select the drill bit for the size of the hole that you need. We'll heat up the back end of the drill bit and use it to pierce the hole. By the way, overheating the whole drill bit can soften its cutting edge if we really got it, you know, up to like a red heat. So you don't have to do that. You don't have to heat the drill bit end that you're going to push through the hole too hot, but maybe come close. And if we clamp the drill bit, I'm going to use a little bit smaller one here. This is about a 3 16 I think. If you clamp the drill bit in a uh, vice grips, that'll soak away some of the heat and keep you from uh, uh, taking any chance at all of softening the, the uh, business end of the drill bit. Here we go. I'm going to heat up the drill, end of the drill bit now. You can't see it, but I can tell you that, you know, the end of this drill bit was shiny silver color, and I'm going to heat it up until it starts to change color, and maybe even becomes a sort of a, well, first it gets straw color, then red, and then maybe purple. That's just about, just about glowing. So now I'm supporting the... supporting the drill bit so I can keep it right on the mark as I go and there's my hole. And I'll give you a close-up of that hole a little later, but that's it. And again, as you can't see right now very well, there's a little bit of a crater that's bubbled up around the hole and you just get on there with your trusty razor blade and scrape it off. And there you have a nice clean hole nice clean hole and no chance at all of cracking. Okay here we go again uh, just a couple more tips. Uh, the plexiglass w once the heated drill bit goes down and touches the mark that you made where you're going to make the hole uh, it, it's, uh, as it starts to melt, it gets kind of slippery. So it's nice to have this vice grip kind of an attachment, that, you know, this method of holding on to it so that you can kind of, you know, keep control of that sliding so it doesn't slide. Okay? And if you didn't heat the drill bit hot enough and it cools before the hole is complete, simply reheat the drill bit and then just stick it back in the hole and go all the way through. So here we go again. Another hole. Scrape my little crater away. 
And the quicker that you can get to that, the easier it is to scrape that crater off of there. Okay. And sometimes a crater will form, a little bit will form on the outside too. But again, you get a nice clean hole and then you have no danger of cracking the plexiglass. So we do one more? Let's try a little bit bigger one this time. Okay, so I'm going to clamp up this is, I don't know what, 5 sixteenths or something like that, that general vicinity. There we go. That's clamped in there. I've noticed that with a propane torch, the actual hottest part is a ways away, almost ahead of the visible flame, where there's actually the most heat transfer. You can test that for yourself. And speaking of testing, it's always a good idea, well, it would be a good idea for you if this is your first time to do this. Do this on a practice piece of plexiglass so you don't take the chance at, you know, doing your learning when you're trying to get a very accurate, very accurate hole placed exactly, you know. And I suppose you wouldn't have to use the actual drill bit if you just had a piece of steel that was the right diameter. And here we go. Nice clean hole. Did it again. And scraped off the goopy on the top and maybe clean the hole up there a little bit. And there we go, that, that's all there is to it. Okay, here's a close-up of the three holes that we just made after the protective uh, film was removed. And there's the other side. Okay. Well, there you have it. Yes, maybe the process is a bit slower than using a powerful drill, electric drill, but if you have ever ruined a project by fracturing the plexiglass after putting a lot of money and time into it, I think you'll find this process well worth the extra care and you will know that you can make these holes with the confidence that they will be always be successfully produced. Thank you for watching.